Several displays can be selected for the secondary ICAST display. These displays are selected using the ICAST display select panel on the glare shield. The ICAST alert message list is controlled by the cancel and recall switches. Pushing the cancel switch removes the caution and advisory messages from the ICAST display. Warning messages cannot be canceled. Pushing the recall switch displays the caution and advisory messages that were removed with the cancel switch if the respective faults still exist. Pushing the recall switch also displays a recall message at the bottom of the message area for one second. When more messages exist than can be displayed on one page, a page number is displayed below the message area. Pushing the cancel switch displays multiple messages one page at a time. ICAST warning messages from page 1 are displayed at the top of each page. By pushing the cancel switch when the last page of messages is displayed, all ICAST caution and advisory messages and the page number will no longer be displayed. A new ICAS alert message is always displayed on the page being viewed at the top of its respective priority group. In this example, page 2 is being viewed, and a new ICAS caution message, Hydraulic Pressure System 4, is displayed. The message is displayed as the first caution message on page 2, even though advisory messages and other caution messages are displayed on page 1. Pushing the recall switch displays page 1 and reorganizes the message list into the correct order with the newest message in each priority group at the top of that group. In this example, the new ICAS caution message, Hydraulic Pressure System 4, that was displayed on page 2 is now displayed on page 1 at the top of the caution group. Question. Answer B is correct. Question. Answer B is correct. Pushing the cancel switch displays multiple pages, one page at a time. The bell, beeper, and master warning and caution lights are inhibited to prevent distractions during takeoff. During part of the takeoff, the master warning lights and the fire bell are inhibited for the ICAS warning message fire and the master warning lights and siren are inhibited for the ICAS warning messages cabin altitude and overspeed. The inhibit begins at V1 and ends at either 400 feet radio altitude or 25 seconds after V1, whichever occurs first. At V1, the master warning lights and fire bell are inhibited for fire warnings to prevent distraction. If a fire condition occurs, the associated ICAST message is still displayed. The fire bell and master warning lights remain inhibited until 25 seconds after V1 or 400 feet radio altitude. During takeoff, the master caution lights and beeper are inhibited for all cautions above 80 knots to prevent distraction. If a caution condition occurs, the associated ICAST message is still displayed. 
If the takeoff is aborted above 80 knots, the master caution lights and beeper remain inhibited until speed decreases below 75 knots. The beeper and the master caution lights remain inhibited until 20 seconds after rotation or until reaching 400 feet radio altitude. Question. Answer B is correct. During takeoff above 80 knots, the beeper and the master caution lights are inhibited to prevent distractions. When the airplane is on the ground and all fuel control switches are in cutoff, the beeper and the master caution lights are inhibited for all ICAS caution messages. When the fuel control switch is in cutoff, or the engine fire switch is pulled out, individual ICAS alert messages are replaced by the ICAS message, Engine Shutdown. This prevents an engine shutdown from filling the display with inappropriate messages. For some non-normal situations, multiple ICAS alert messages are replaced by a single, more general message. For example, if entry door 1 left is not latched, the ICAS advisory message door entry left 1 is displayed. However, if both door 1 left and door 5 left are not latched, the ICAS advisory message door entry left replaces the individual messages. White memo messages are displayed at the bottom of the primary ICAS display message area. These messages are reminders of the current state of certain normal conditions. The newest memo message is displayed at the bottom of the list. All other memo messages move up. A memo message is no longer displayed when the condition that caused the message no longer exists. When a memo message is no longer displayed, the remaining memo messages move down to fill the space. Unlike ICAST warning, caution, and advisory messages which move up. When there are multiple pages of ICAST messages, all ICAST memo messages are displayed on the bottom of the last page. The memo messages remain displayed after the last page is displayed and the cancel switch is pushed. Question. Answer C is correct. The fire bell and master warning lights are inhibited for fire warnings to prevent distractions.